after we have finished uh, this <coughs> shelf, diameter of uh, 10.8 and the length of uh, 45 millimeter, we can start do the grooving process. So this is the grooving tools. Okay. The next thing we need to do is we need to center the cutting tool again. Every time we change the cutting tools, we need to center. Okay, uh, from the drawing, the groove is, is six, six millimeter from this end. Okay, so what we need to do first is touch our cutting tool. And then reset the position. Uh, okay. And then pull out the tool bit and set it to six millimeter. Okay, if we do that, uh, you will have some trouble because this is not exactly three millimeter, uh, six millimeter. It is three millimeter because of the cutting bit is uh, three millimeter. So we need to add another three millimeter to our. Uh, measurement so first we touch this point to this point but uh, when cutting what we need to measure is this point to this point so this is a uh, six and then plus three millimeter which is uh, nine so we will put it to nine millimeter Okay, and currently this we need to touch and then set zero position. So it will be turned from 10.8 to 7.8. So uh, three millimeter growth. And the speed for grooving is uh, 600. So we need to change the speed. Okay, next, uh, the width of the groove is 5 millimeter, so we just need another 2 millimeter cut at this area. So move it to 11.
Okay, now we have uh, completed uh, one side of our product. So what we need to do is uh, we need to turn this uh, piece around so we can work at this area. Okay. 